Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. We are starting on the original lineup of the Bionicle figures. This one is 8535 Liwa from 2001. It was 36 pieces and retailed for $6.99, back when Lego was affordable. Uh, right now, if you look it up on Bricklink, you can get just the figure by itself for about $12. Uh, if you want it sealed, you are kind of limited in your options because there are only two listings on Bricklink as of recording this video. One from Canada, $164, and the other all the way over in Spain for $214. And uh, all of the listings on eBay also reflect this uh, price range. You can get some where it's just the figure for about the same price. Uh, you can get some where it's everything. Uh, canister, figure, instructions, um, obviously not sealed, uh, for about the 25-30 range, um, which is not a bad deal, I think, for a 23-year-old set. And if you want them sealed, eBay also has them for, you know, 150 plus. So, yeah, probably don't buy it sealed. <laughs> uh, if you do have it sealed uh, first... Why didn't you ever open these? They're amazing. And second, congratulations, you're sitting on a pretty uh, pretty expensive piece of plastic there. Uh, but I digress. Uh, these, like I said, came out in 2001. Uh, there is a second version released shortly after. Uh, basically just a second run of it, where it's the exact same thing, except it comes with a mini CD-ROM. Put that in your computer, you can do some interactive stuff. Uh, they did that in several other lines in the future to this one. Um, I have some of those. They're, they weren't that special, but back in the day when you were a little kid, they were pretty cool. Um, and some of you may be wondering, hey, why are you starting off with the green one? Why not the red one? You know, Tahu, the leader. Well, like I said, this is 23 years old, and there's something in my head that just says, start with the green one. Because, like... I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure this is the one I got first. I mean, he's got an axe. Like, well, it's a pretty badass axe. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I wanted to start with him because I'm pretty sure he was the first one I ever had. And it started me on my Bionicle journey. Um, so each individual Toa, as what they're called, each individual one of these has a element associated to them with their powers and stuff like that. Um, you know, red one, obviously fire. Um, I'm, I'm going to pose a question to you guys right now. Looking at him, what do you think his, his powers are? You know, what does it look like? I'll, I'll give you a second to, uh, to think about it. You're wrong. It's air. He's the Toa of air. Did you guess that? No? Don't feel bad. Clearly. Clearly air powers, you know? Totally. You know, he's two-tone green. His canister, green. He's, uh, flying through the jungle on vines. A lot of green in this. He has an axe. I don't know about you, but if your air is green... You should probably move. There's something seriously wrong with the atmosphere where you live. <sighs> it, it makes no sense. But I recently had an epiphany. I was at work yesterday thinking about this. Like, why, why is he green? Toa there, why green? And what I'm about to say um, might shake your worldview. So gather around, boys and girls, and uh, be prepared. You know, just a, you know, just a heads up. You may feel a little bit silly when you hear what I'm about to say, but don't feel too bad about it because uh, I've had this for 23 years, and it has never once crossed my mind that this is why he's green. And, and what I'm about to tell you explains perfectly 
why he's green and associated with air. It's because plants inhale carbon dioxide and then exhale oxygen. Plants make air. Plants make the air. What? I'm sorry. I just hit the camera. What? Like, like this is galaxy brain right there. You know? Like, we're just little kids drooling, playing with our action figures, sitting on the, our bedroom floors. All the while, the Bionicle design team is sitting off high in their gilded wizard towers, playing 4D chess, waiting for us as a species to evolve to the point where we can take two separate ideas, mash them together into a coherent thought, and achieve some proto-sentience that would allow us to withstand this information, to achieve partial enlightenment. And, like, I was at work thinking about it, and I was like, oh my god, this makes complete sense. Like, I feel like John Travolta in Phenomenon, where he sees a flash of light, and then suddenly he gets up off the ground, and his intelligence has quadrupled. Uh, it's like some sort of forbidden knowledge. Um, or, you know, it could just be me. I could just be sitting here thinking I'm making some sort of scientific breakthrough for the ages. Uh, but in reality, we, somewhere in our genetic memory, we all knew this. And the collective conscience doesn't uh, talk about it because, oh, it's obvious. Oh, how did this man not know? And that all the time, while I'm over here just being like, I wonder what plants do with their their extra time. I mean, they just sit there. Do they have hobbies? What do they do? But, I mean, 23 years, it never crossed my mind. He's green. It's plant stuff. Because plants make air. They make the air. Yeah. Anyway, let's check out the features of a Bionicle. They are all essentially the same. Use many of the same pieces. They're all very unique back when they came out. Like, these are great, like, large pieces. They all have karate chop action. And this other arm is sort of just swinging free because he didn't have the gear in there. Uh, they all have these heads. Let's see if we can get there. Like, this nice trans clear that clicked into this and it's always kind of a weird looking face. And they each have their individual masks. This guy's got kind of like a kind of like a bird looking one, which, you know, he's the air guy. Um sweet badass axe. Little thingy thingies. And uh opposability. Uh there is one really bad thing about this it is because these ball joints put a lot of stress on these parts and, you know, pulling them in, pulling them in, pulling them out, putting them back in, you end up with a lot of stress fractures. And I think it is this one where the hand is cracked. One of these is horribly cracked and I don't know. Yeah, that's super loose. Is it this one? Maybe. I'm not entirely sure if it's this one or not, but it may be. But I recently assembled all of my toes, and these parts are going to live in this form forever now. I'm never taking these apart again. Um, another really special thing about the Bionicle line is, um, obviously, they are part of the Technic line. Um, these, this is the packaging it came in. You had these seals up here and it's just a little twist off. You got the, uh, instructions in there and 
a lot of times you'll find the canisters and they don't have this outer sleeve. Like, it's a two-part thing. You have the inner sleeve that's glued to the canister and then this outer sleeve that just sits on it. And I guess a lot of people take them off for some reason. I, I don't know. Uh, this These products were launched with a lot of um, online stuff. There was a whole website. There was like a little click game. Um, it's a whole bunch of stuff. They were really trying to get people to go like do more than just play with the the Lego set. Get involved. Uh, they did... Um, I wonder if that came with a poster. I don't know. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the the plus is for that. Uh, but they had... You go on the website and you put in the, the code. You know, for these cans and stuff. And the bottoms were all the same. So every canister has the exact same bottom. Um... So all these codes are the same. So you go in, you do can code 154, and I forget exactly what you got there, but it's the secret web code, except everybody everybody has access to that code if they just get one of these. Um, down here, they have sort of like the little, it starts here, the canister washes up and then poosh, opens up and pieces scattered, and then you assemble him. Karate chop action! And uh, it was pretty neat. Um, and I read a little while ago that back when these came out, Lego was having a lot of financial troubles because they were spread way too thin, uh, to the point where they had to, uh, sell off the Legoland, uh, all of their theme parks. They had to sell them off, try to regain some finances. And they got a new, uh, I don't know if he was the CEO, but they had a new head honcho and he advised them cut a bunch of your products down. Try to streamline it, focus in on a couple things. And um, they kept the Star Wars line, and then they introduced the Bionicles. And the the sales for these went crazy. And basically, Bonks saved Lego back in the early 2000s. Late 90s, early 2000s. And I think that's such a wonderful little thing that fans of Bionicle can hold over the rest of the world. <laughs> like, hey, we, you like Lego? You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, so, I mean, back then, these weren't that expensive. There was $6.99. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, not a lot of pieces, but they're big pieces. And, you know, it's not just static. It's, it's basically an action figure you put together yourself. Um... <laughs> So this one was actually not six ninety nine. This was six eighty nine. It was uh, down to three forty at one point. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but then at another point, it was clearance for four eighty. So it must have been clearance that time, and then clearance again. Um, yeah, these are great. They're really really great. I have all of the original six, and I just kept getting them. Uh, a whole bunch of the like the early um, lines, they don't. Every now and then they'll do like an, another edition, another. Oh, they powered up, and you know, Bionicle is always fun. Um, and going through building all of these had all the parts. A lot of them were cracked and breaking, and I was like, oh no. Uh, and then yesterday I went through and did the second line of Toas, and then after that I realized. I have so many extra Toa parts. It's like, I don't even remember getting multiples, but I do. And uh, I'll try to figure out something to do with those parts, but I don't have all the pieces necessary. I actually had to scramble around, not so much for these parts, but for the next line. I had to scramble around for some that I just don't have very many of. Um, one big thing is the feet like to crack right there. They just snap clean through, and it's, it's very unfortunate. But these guys, they're yeah, they're they're action figures. They're they're real cool, unique looking things, and uh, I'm just a really big fan of them. Uh, not so much now, but back when I was ten years old, these were these were all the rage, man. Anyway. We're going to keep doing these, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.